Visco. Hi, welcome to Visco channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use acoustic function on Heat Vision V Pro series and VR. Acoustic is an AI function used by Heat Vision to allow user to search for the desired targets more efficiently from the playback instead of going through all the playback from the camera channel one by one. Before introducing acoustic, Heat Vision introduced AccuSearch which the NVR will locate the human and vehicle targets from the playback. User can select and search on the particular targets and all the footage where these targets show up will uh, display in the results. However, this still requires the user to locate at least one footage where the target uh, will be found in the playback. So Heat Vision introduced AccuSeq which is a text-based searching AI function where the user can type in the detailed description into the search box and the NVR will display all the results where it can match with the description from the search box. However, there still can be several different targets that uh, fit into the descriptions. So user can do further searching using the search functions on a particular playback or uh, results and then the footage of all these particular targets will show up in the results. Later, I will, de uh, I will demonstrate to you how to configure acoustic functions uh, in the NVR. I'm using this model DS7608 and XI I2AP Repro. To use the acoustic function, you must use a Repro series NVR. For this model, you can see there is XIP channel and for Repro series NVR, you can use full channel for acoustic and search function as you can see here. In the data sheet, we can also see this NVR has two engines, which means this NVR can do two different AI functions at the same time. So I will be using one engine for AccuSearch and another for acoustic. For the acoustic function to work, the camera must support heat vision acoustics technology, which we can refer to the list here for the compatibility, or we can refer to the camera data sheet to double confirm. So for acoustic function to work, the camera must also support heat vision acoustics technology and the search must be enabled in the NVR for the AccuSeq function to work. So for the AccuSeq, the search language will be using English. Let's go to the NVR webpage. Under the device access, you can add a camera here by clicking on the camera channel and then you can select plug and play or manual. Type in the camera IP and the camera passwords and click OK. After clicking OK, the camera should show online status. So for the AccuSeq and AccuSearch function to work, the camera must uh, enable the smart event under the VCA configurations. So let's go back to the NVR settings. So after adding in the camera, you can go to the event center under VCA configurations, engine settings. You can set one engine to do the AccuSearch and another engine to do the AccuSeq. We can also uh, need to enable the AccuSeq and AccuSearch function here and tick the checkbox for the camera channel that we wish to do the search and AccuSeq and click save. So after doing all these configurations, we can uh, go to the AccuSeq tab and just uh, do the searching. So I've been uh, added and running this camera for a few days so I can directly do the searching here. So uh, in the AccuSeq tab, you can see there's a few filter here person, vehicle, and others. So now I'll be searching under person. Let's say I type man in black, black shirt, and then I can uh, choose the search time period here. Let's say for the past seven days and click search. So the search result will uh, show the similarity of the results to the description that we type in the checkbox search box here. So for the similarity that is higher than 75%, the similarity will show uh, in green color, which means uh, highly similar to the search results description. So at here we have the similarity filter that we can set higher and then uh, only the results that have similarity greater than 73% or equal will be showing up. And then here got the orders also. We can do from the list similar to the more similar or for the time zone from the oldest one to the most recent or vice versa. So after uh, doing this search, we can uh, do playback and accurate search in uh, any results that we found. So let's say we do an accurate search for this target. So the result will show the every similar target uh, to the target that we searched just now. So we can also do this in the NVR locker. So next I will show you how to do the similar searching in the 
and we are local device. So now let's do the AccuSearch and AccuSeq function on the NVR local. So we can go to the playback, select the camera channel in the specific date. So let's say in this playback, I want to do the AccuSearch. I can click on the target. So it will show the search result similarity to the target we searched just now. So this is the normal uh, AccuSearch function. So for the AccuSeq function, we can uh, search the result more efficiently. So let's say we type in the description, man. So similar to the web patch, it will show the similarity of the search results to the description we type in the search box. So let's say we do for today. So maybe we can go to one of the search results and do the playback. In the playback, we can stop at any time and then we do the accurate search function. Let's say we click on it and the search result will show the similarity of the results to the target we searched just now. So for by com combining the accuracy and accuracy search function, we can search on the desired targets more efficiently. So that's all for today's video. Hope you like it and learn something from it. If you like the video, you can subscribe to Wisco channel to view more tutorial video like this. Thank you. Visco. Shh.